Hi guys, Bacchus Bruce got the backstory on the 2014 Gavilan Chardonnay. This is coming out of the Shalon Vineyard, the very famous Shalon AVA in the Central Coast, uh, east of Soledad. Uh, got this for just $3.99 at the grocery outlet uh, here in Hayward. My jaw just literally dropped when I saw it, and it dropped farther when I saw the price. Uh, the Shalon Vineyard, of course, is, uh, is very, very famous for a lot of reasons. Uh, probably uh, starting back in the 60s would be a good place to go. Uh, Dick Graf uh, was uh, a, a lover of Burgun Burgundian style Chardonnays and uh, he decided that he wanted to make that in California so uh, he uh, found the perfect property to do it uh, which is uh, the Gavilan uh, Mountains uh, near the Pinnacles Na uh, National Monument. Uh, lots of limestone in that soil and limestone is really what Richard Graf felt was the, the difference between a Burgundian Chardonnay and any other Chardonnay that he'd ever tried so very uh, an inhospitable area to be growing wine grapes. Uh, it was uh, actually an old mine, believe it or not. No water, uh, no rain. It's very arid there. Um, but he knew that it was going to be a winner, uh, and he knew that he had a, a, a an idea about what California Chardonnay could be and would be. So he introduced things like barrel fermentation on a widespread basis. He introduced things like malolactic fermentation, secondary fermentation, uh, which really wasn't common uh, in the 60s at that time when he was first kind of getting getting going. And uh, what, what this style of winemaking really did was create what we know today as the uh, California classic uh, Chardonnay style, which is rich and buttery and creamy and has lots of oak. And uh, uh, you either love it or you hate it, really. But uh, a lot of it kind of got started uh, back in the day with, uh, with the Shalone Vineyard. Now, Shalone Vineyard, of, of course, has changed hands a couple times over the years. Uh, uh, Dick Graff himself passed away in a plane crash in the late 90s, uh, which was unfortunate. Uh, and then soon after, the, the uh, winery ended up getting uh, sold to Diageo, big uh, conglomerate multinational. Uh, and uh, they held on to it for 10, 12 years and recently sold it to the, uh, the Foley family of wines, which is uh, another kind of smaller conglomerate uh, who owns brands like uh, Chalk Hill and Langtree Estate and Sebastiani and others as well. Um, but the winery continues to uh, uh, exist and uh, the Chardonnay I'm sure is going to continue to be as uh, good as ever. Uh, we're going to find out what a deal. I'm really excited. See you in the tasting room.